If you guys are looking for some fast, cheap, and reliable coins, go check out buycheapfifacoins.com and use discount code Curtis for 5% off. They're the cheapest and most reliable place around. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 14 potential squad builder. Today we have a very interesting one. It's a squad that honestly, I can't tell you what's going to happen with them next year. But nonetheless, if you haven't already checked out the first two, I'd recommend you go check out the Arsenal and the Chelsea one. I'll put a link down below to a little playlist of them all so you can go and watch for them, which should be pretty good. So before we get stuck into it, obviously this is Manchester United. If we get 500 likes this video, guys, that'd be tremendous. Also, if you're looking for a place to get yourself some cheap Microsoft points, cheap Xbox Live, and cheap PC games, check the link down below and let's get stuck into it with the first player. So as you can probably tell, for some reason, I'm a bit hyper today. I'm a bit hyped, but we're just going to smash it out straight up with David De Gea in goal. Obviously, United have no intention to sign anyone other well, no goalie, obviously, other than what they've got. David De Gea is going to be the number one next season. He's had a really good season, and uh, I think I really, really highly rate him, if I'm honest. Right back, Raphael. Wasn't exactly sure who to pick for this one. I did actually send the squad off to one of my mates, who's a United season ticket holder, and said to him what he thinks about the possibility of where the players be playing. He said it's fair enough. Uh, Phil Jones could be getting that time at right back, but in general, Raphael should be the number one right back, providing they don't sign anyone there. Next up, we have Mats Hummels. Lots and lots of links with him going to United, obviously. Obviously, they do need to buy a centre-back. If it's not Hummels, it will be someone else. They will not go this whole window without buying a centre-back. I am so confident of that. Uh, so, Hummels could be very likely that centre-back. And if they do pick him up, that's a tremendous coup because I really, again, rate Hummels. Next up, we have Phil Jones. Uh, I do feel like he will be the one playing in the centre-back position. Once again, I asked uh, this guy that I know. Uh, it will be close between him and Smalling. Apparently, there's a chance Smalling could be getting it. Of course, Evans is in with a shout. But I do think Jones will be the one in that centre-back position. You guys may disagree, but that's my opinion. Left-back, we have Luke Shaw. Obviously, he's going to be the one in left-back. Patrice Evra has left. And Shaw has come in for 30, 32 million, however much he was. But uh, very, very interesting, good prospect. And for his sake and for England's sake, I hope he has a good season at left-back for Manchester United next year. Next. Next up in defensive mid, we have Ander Herrera. Now, he is a very, again, exciting looking little player. He can go forward, he can defend, he can just like assist, play, make, all this good stuff. He looks like a very interesting young little player. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how he does. He will be straight into that squad, I'm sure of it. And I've stuck him in the CDM. And alongside him, I've stuck Vidal. This is like the hokey cokey. It's in, out, in, out, shake it all about. I literally, I never know if this is on or not. Vidal is a possibility. Like I said, the whole point of this video is a potential squad. If it's not him, maybe someone else will get picked up. Maybe it'll be Fellaini. Maybe Carrick. Carrick is out for a little while. Maybe Fletcher, we don't know. Cam, nonetheless, I'm confident Rooney will be playing. This is more of a just off the striker role. I could be completely wrong on this whole squad as well, guys. Let me just say that. Van Hal play, has played 3-5-2 a few times. That could be happening for all we know. But uh, based off what we've seen uh, in previous years, Rooney in that cam role is, uh, is the one that you'd expect. With Mata playing out on the left or the right, rotating with the, who you're going to see on the right-hand side in a minute. Uh, again, the other players like Kagawa, Valencia, these boys are going to get a look in. But this is just what I feel would be the primary lineup. And obviously Mata, tremendous player, plays well on the left and on the right-hand side. Uh, Yanazai, I've stuck out on the right, but like I said, can be on the left or the right and in the middle, as can all of their attacking players. They're all a very, very versatile bunch, and you can you never really know which one's going to be there. So, obviously, you'll see in a second as well, the striker is Robin Van Persie. So, this is based off the fact that they're going to be buying Hummels and Vidal and not actually anyone else. I can see them maybe getting two centre-backs. It could be Vermaelen's looking like one that's going, uh, but he's also linked with Barca. There's lots of different players linked, but this could potentially be their lineup for next season. Now, I do recommend you just stay around and watch these clips because I scored some absolute bangers right here. Uh, it was really, really fun to use the squad. I'm going to tell you that now, guys. Uh, but... Nonetheless, I do think it's going to be really interesting next season. I've been saying on Twitter for the last like few weeks that I really cannot tell you what, watch this go as well, uh, what I think is going to happen uh, next season. I really do not know. I don't know if Arsenal are going to gel with the new players, if we're going to be amazing. I don't know if United are going to flop or if they're going to be amazing under Van Gaal. I, I just honestly, Liverpool, are they going to be good after Suarez or are they going to be terrible? How are Everton going to do? How are City going to do? I honestly, I have no idea what is going to happen next season and I really just cannot wait for it. I can cannot tell you what I think the top four will be whatsoever. I can't tell you who I think will win and I can't tell you who I think will get relegated other than Burnley. Um, so it's going to be a very, very exciting year. This is my uh, potential Man United squad. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Leave a like if you did. Comment down below who you would like to see me do in future potential United squad. Uh, not potential United, just potential any team. What team would you like to see me do? Enjoy this video. Bye, guys. Um, okay, then.